Hello, so we will just um, have an overview of how you manipulate uh, JSON in Golang. So first we're gonna marshal um, struct into JSON and then we will do the opposite uh, operation and marshalling um, uh, JSON into uh, Golang struct. Alright, to start with, um, we're just gonna need a struct, so let's do person struct and then name um, as a string and then we can start um, with instantiating a person, so we can call him uh, Tom and then um, first thing first we're gonna marshal that struct into JSON, so for that we're gonna use um, json.marshal it's taking an interface um, so then we can pass p and then this thing will return a byte, an array of bytes and an error so p bytes error and then we can log the error and we can log um, the, um, the bytes but um, we're just gonna if you do that it's gonna be bytes so let's transform that into strings okay so let's see and there you go you have a uh, name and as Tom as we defined so now what happens if you want to customize the um, key um, name so you're gonna use um, tag golang tag so you do json and then colon and then the tag you want so here you can call it custom uh, custom name so if we run that again you can see custom name Tom, that way and now uh, um, going further what happens if we have age which is going to be an int and uh, we can just call it age but then we don't specify it in the JSON so you see that it has defaulted as zero uh, as the um, uh, zero value of um, an int so what happens if you don't want to marshal that um, property when you marshal to JSON? So you just do omit if empty. So then you can see that it's not uh, marshaling the age basically. Now um, going further. So what happens if you have a field which is pretty private? It might happen that or a field that you purely need to supply but don't need to marshal like um, the person has a credit card so let's put a credit card for Tom so super secret and uh, what happen if we do that right you can see you're marshalling that field so it's defaulting with the struct the property name on line 11 so what you need to do uh, is to just put a dash basically like that uh, so then there you go so only the custom name will be marshaled and not the credit card okay so now let's do the uh, opposite operation so let's do um, and marshalling. So um, basically, you have um, a JSON um, struct. So we can build one with um, raw message from the same library, JSON library. So you do JSON dot um, raw message, and then you just pass a string. So I'm just gonna copy that one because we know that's a valid JSON structure. So raw JSON is just um, a wrapper to give you bytes. Basically, you you could just write a uh, slice of byte if you want, just more readable. So then you do JSON, and then we're gonna use and Marshall. So you can see a slice of byte and an interface. So we have our slice of byte. So the interface, you we're just gonna define um, person variable as a person2 for instance and we just need to pass a pointer to that variable so then the unmarshal operation will um, fill that struct for you all right it's just returning an error so we can just put error2 and just log the error like 
that and we just gonna uh, print the person as well all right let's have a look cool we have Tom back and add zero so we can just change that to merit to see if it's correct and a quick tip here so you could do value for the struct marry zero but uh, you don't have the field name so you can add a plus there you go you can have name marry age zero credit card uh, blank empty string because we didn't supply those last two uh, we can supply age to see if it's properly working two three four yeah let's try age two three four okay it's all good um all right so that's if you you have the um, the um, stream bag but often you want to um and marshal from a, a file so we just put uh, a json file here marry.json uh, put marry age 43 so then uh, we're gonna use um, this library i util and then just read file so you just give the name of the file so Mary Jason and then uh, it's giving you basically a slice of byte and an error so yeah we're just gonna log error free and um, um, the um, p2 as raw JSON is already passed on line 27 all right let's uh, try that cool there you go I changed Mary's age in the JSON file, so all good. Okay, so there's plenty more stuff that you can do with this uh, JSON library. So you can um, validate um, JSON before unmarshalling it, or you can write your own uh, custom um, decoder or encoder, basically. So I invite you to have a look to this uh, library. So it's a Golang library, so as long as you have the um, core SDK Golang library, you have this um, JSON library available, so that's pretty good. Um, the link, the documentation is in the description. And that's it. Happy coding!